Good morning and salam Ibu Bitiriku. 150,000 people over the weekend flocked to see this year's rain-fed flaming orange patches of poppies lighting up the hillside near the city of 60,000 residents, about a 90-minute drive from either San Diego or Los Angeles. So the poppy is our state flower and this year has been a massive enormous amount of poppies that I've always wanted to see for a long time and there's been so many in just one area. I think that's probably the main reason why I'm out here personally is because it's so beautiful. Betty Bishop, 48 of nearby Lake Forest, was on her second visit. The native Californian had never seen such an explosion of color from, from the state flower. She battled traffic on Sunday, but that didn't deter her from going back on Monday for another look. She got there at sunrise and stayed for hours. And the Mekuga Honorary Mayor of the desert town of Borrego Springs, another wildflower hotspot, said he feels for Lake Elsinore. Young and old visitors to the Lake Elsinore area seem equally enchanted as they snap selfies against the natural carpet of Indresen Orange. Most importantly, Makuga said the town's businesses prepared this time as if a major storm was about to hit. His restaurant, Charlie's, is averaging, averaging sorry, more than 550 meals a day compared to 300 on a normal March day. The 16-kilometer system running south from Jakarta downtown is the first phase of a development that, if fully realized, will plant a cross-shaped network of stations on the teeming city of 30 million people. A 2.4 billion US dollars elevated rail network linking Jakarta and its satellite cities is also taking shape, with the first stage expected to begin operating in April. According to the Transport Ministry, average peak hour speed has significantly decreased to 10 kilometers an hour. It oft often can take two or more hours to move five kilometers in pockets of the city, prone to flooding and rapidly sinking due to uncontrolled groundwater extraction. Jakarta is the archetypical Asian megacity groaning under the weight of its dysfunction. MRT Jakarta President William Sabandar said they needed more lines continuing to the north, the east-west line and the loop line. But at time, a significant improvement impact of the metro to the seat traffic congestion of Jakarta will be realized. The city's middle class look with envy at the clean efficiency of the cities like Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and Singapore, or the rapidly expanding commuter rail network in Bangkok and are keen to see progress on the Jakarta's first subway. Well, that's all the updates for now. I'm Kamonruddin Bujang. Salam Ibu Butiriku.